but you can see just minimal push and it slides pretty easy the best thing about these feeders is the goats they can't get on top of them they can't pee poop and they'll continue to eat this hay these feeders do save hay and save you money what's going on guys and welcome back to bodark kiko's this is josh thank you guys for tuning in to another video of ours uh, today what i'm going to do is i'm going to go out here i'm going to walk through our hay feeders we have several different kinds we have collapsible we have the cradle type we have ones for squares and you know, having so many different types, there's good and there's bad with them. I thought I'd walk through our feeders over the years that we've bought and show you guys kind of what I like and don't like about them. Um, so let's just go out here and get to it. The first one up is uh, the Ketchum's Collapsible Bell Feeder. And uh, I've had this thing for a few years and you can kind of see the concept. You set a roll in here and uh, the goats, what they do is, it moves forwards and backwards. The hay slides in. The more that they push on it, the hay will slide in and the bell collapses. Uh, some of the pros with this, very minimal waste. And the things that you wanna do is, I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of like a hill type area and you want to get this bell on a flat surface the flatter the better it works better on flat ground if you have it on a hillside it don't tend to work as good but you can see the concept the bell gets smaller the goats continue to eat and uh, this type of feeder is the ketchums it's got some wear and tear it works good it's collapsing like it's supposed to the pros on this one the good things about this one it has adjustable legs down here so see these legs right here you can raise this up so you can make it higher off the ground and with that that'll allow you to put a pallet in there raise them legs up higher so this is a very good feeder um, they are a little pricey but they do work if you get them set up right they work this is made out of a little bit uh, thinner material it's a little bit lighter easier to handle so some of the cons with this feeder are sometimes uh, the hay gets kind of down here where they don't eat enough and it tends to not want to push in as well and if you don't have it on a good flat surface that can be a problem so uh, having this set up correctly will work better for you Paint is worn off where the goats they reach through here what they'll do is they'll, they'll push in here and grab and pull out what they want to eat but you can see just minimal push and it slides pretty easy so as they eat over here or eat over here the only issue that we've had with this is just right in here in this bottom area you'll get a you'll get hay built up and they won't be able to reach in here so every now and again we'll have to kind of clean that out but that's the only issue that we've had with this one All right, so I come down here to Megawatt's pasture, and Megawatt has the same type of feeder that we just went over, the Ketchum's collapsible bell feeder. This one is the Mountain View, and uh, it's the same concept. As you can see behind me, the goats are, are working on it right now. Um, this feeder works the same. You put a round bell in it, you got the long sides, and then on the inside, you got the collapsible part. Uh, this feeder is made out of uh, a little bit heavier gauge material, so it's a little bit more sturdier. It is heavier. Um, it does not have the adjustable legs, and we sometimes we run into the same thing, but as we have found out through trial and error, if you put it on a flat surface, it works much better. It's easier, easier to collapse and slide. Every now and again, 
the same with the other one we'll have to go in and clean out the bottom a little bit so it collapses a little bit better um, I'll get an up close and better shot for you uh, it does not have the raisable legs like the Ketchum's does the Ketchum's is a little bit lighter weight this one's a heavier material it's powder coated I really like that I've had this feeder for probably three years now So on this feeder right here, works the same way. This, we put this bell out about two weeks ago and you can see how much is left of it. On the ground, you can see a little bit of waste, but it's really not much. The best thing about these feeders is the goats, they can't get on top of them. They can't pee, poop and they'll continue to eat this hay. Uh, these feeders do save hay and save you money by not letting the ghost waste it. On this feeder right here, it has these rods that hold the part that slides in. Here's the bottom of the feeder. It's got these uh, legs that are raised up off the ground. You can. Uh, put a pallet on these and the bell still will uh, the sides will collapse uh, we just set this bell on the ground you can see it's working just fine and it is a thicker material these are rods thick rods it is powder coated this is a uh, thick material same concept what I'm talking about is kind of how these goats have eaten the top the top part of the bell and it's kind of collapsed in every now and again we'll run into trouble right in here where we'll have to dig this out a little bit to make the bell continue to collapse but this bell is it's about 30 percent left of this bell and these goats will clean this up until there's hardly any left we'll pull it out we'll put in a new bell but look on the ground around you're not seeing much waste at all Those are the two collapsible bell feeders we have. Over the years with having goats, the first one I bought was the Ketchums. I seen this one at a show. I really liked how much stronger it was. And uh, it's both of them have held up well. Uh, what do I like different about, I like what's good about the other one, what's good about this one too. I like that the other one's a little lighter. I like that it has raisable legs. I like that this one's made tougher. These have held up, no problems whatsoever. They both serve a purpose and they both work well. The only con that I have about these is just where it clumps up at the bottom. Uh, but like right now, we've got 40 head on it and they're eating this hay up pretty good. You can see there's minimal waste. So these are really great feeders that do save money, do save you money and they are uh, a lot less waste with these types. Let's go over to BT's pasture and I'll show you a different type of feeder. Another good thing about these are, you can take a tractor that doesn't have a front end loader on it and you can load these up with hay all day long. You don't have to have a front end loader to put hay in these. Put them on your forks, on your three point, push them right in there. These are very easy to assemble. Uh, I can do it all by myself. What I do is, I take one of these, I'll take this side off right here. I'll push the other completely back. I'll take what's left of a bell and spread it out, which is very minimal. Back a bell right in here, and it's easy, very easy to put a bell of hay in here. So guys, do me a favor. If you are not subscribed to this channel, go down, hit the subscribe button, stay up with what we got going on. We really appreciate it like this video it helps get it out there into the youtube community i like making these videos communicating with you guys and uh just do us a favor go down help us out hit the subscribe button if you're not appreciate it these right here these hay rings right here these don't work for goats at all goats can 
get on they get on the top of the hay they play king of the hill with these they waste so much hay with these these are not good for goats at all um when we first started we had some of these we realized how much waste we was going through how much hay that they would not eat because they've uh, pooped and peed on it so what we started doing with these is we started cutting these in half and making shelters out of them so we'd cut them in half make a dome type out of them put tin on them and uh, these make great goat shelters Tops. so here's the other type of big bell feeder we have so this is what you call a cradle feeder it's a cradle type and it holds a round bell right here this has a gate you pop this gate open you pop that gate open and uh, you can put your hay in there very easily we did we did make some adjustments to this feeder we put some of this goat mesh uh, panels in here when we put this uh, goat panel in here it made it to where it was a lot easier for them to eat this side of the bell and not just put holes in it so what they would do was they would have the feed the big roll up here and they would eat up in here in a section and it would make a hole and uh, it stopped a lot of that and now they're eating from this side as well as this side and it's causing the bell to fall down and it's helping out you can see this hay feeder right here does have more waste than the collapsible bell feeders With this feeder, you do have to have a tractor with the front end loader. You gotta be able to grab the bell, pick it up, set it in the cradle. So this is one of the disadvantages. If you don't have a bigger tractor to load or to raise bells, this bell, this bell feeder won't work for you because you can't load it without a big tractor or bigger tractor with the front end loader. So uh, I like this type of feeder. I have this one over at my house too with the dolings that we have. Uh, it's a different brand. This is a Northeast Gate company. Uh, they make all sorts of type of stuff for goats, uh, as well as the Ketchums, the Mountain View. Also, uh, I posted a picture on our community tab, and I asked you guys, I'll put the picture up right here. I asked you guys uh, who you thought this doling was out of, and we need to give her a name. And a lot of you guys chimed in. I tell you what, naming goats, to me, we got so many of them, it's kind of hard to come up with names. We need to find a system, but I liked how you guys come in. And there's a couple names I liked, but I think what we're going to go with on this doling is Golden Honey. She's got a deep golden color, and uh, I really like that name, so thank you guys for helping us out. I want to do that more often. I want to get you guys... Uh, involved and helping out helping pick out names I thought that was a really cool aspect so I appreciate it you guys named your thanks and uh, you, you guys if you're subscribed to the channel and stay up with all the videos you'll be able to see her grow into be a nanny herself and raise her own kids so I'm over here at my place and uh, this is the same type that the last feeder we just seen it's got the cradle in it it's a big bell cradle feeder works the same way it's raised off the ground it's got a gate you can take this gate off and load a bell in, in the cradle um, goats eat out from underneath it it has the same type of issues with the other one it kind of pits hay and uh, you have to come and mash it down so you have to keep an eye on it uh, it works good too it's out here in this pasture with these dolans it does waste a little bit of hay uh, they have been starting to eat on it you can see where they'll get up i don't have the the mesh on the inside here but you can see how they'll get up underneath here and they'll eat but the types that we use the cradle and the collapsible they both have their pros and cons we really like them uh, this right here you have to keep an eye on it because of the pitting make sure it stays pushed down so nothing gets trapped in there we haven't had any issues with that 
Uh, but I do like how the collapsible bell feeders, they really work well. You do need a bigger type of nanny to keep that pushed in because goats naturally want to push on something. So uh, both work well. Uh, we have all different kinds of hay feeders. We've bought some over the years and uh, they both serve a purpose. They're both made to help you save on hay. Some save a little better than others. But uh, that's about all I got for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you guys on the next one.